Okay guys, welcome back to another replica gun review. This is Paul again, and today I have with me the Umarex Steel Storm, which is quite awesome. I love this thing a lot. Um, it's available pretty much everywhere right now. It's available on Amazon for $99.99. Um, I don't know why on UmarexUSA.com it's actually $100 more, $199.99. Um, it's also available on, like I said, pretty much everywhere, Pyramid Air, etc. Um, this thing is really cool. Um, the uh, vertical grip here and the sight did not come stock, so it just came with no attachments, but it has plenty of Picatinny rail, so I wanted to make good use of that. Um, so. I felt like it needed a vertical grip. I wasn't the biggest fan of its stock shape. I felt like it looked really awkward. Um, so I felt like a vertical grip was a must and some sort of, I'm gonna eventually maybe uh, upgrade this uh, site because these are pretty cheap um, accessories. Uh, this is a site made by V-Life. Um, has a green and red option. Um, and uh, let me just turn on the green for you. Or, see which one's better yeah green yeah let me try it yeah green is best right now i guess um as you can see you can switch between green and red on this site and you can cycle through different reticles so you have um let me just try to get this in focus for you so you have the circle with the crosshair next one would be just the crosshair next one is the circle with the dot in it and then you have just a plain dot and then as I said you can switch to red just by pressing the red button right there and then you can cycle back through the reticles as you please um, and then to turn it off you actually just press green and then red at the same time and then it's off um, this uh, vertical foregrip, I will, by the way, put links to everything in the description where you can pick up the gun, uh, the sight if you are interested in it, and the vertical grip. Um, and uh, I gotta say, I, I have no complaints about these, even though they were pretty cheap. The vertical grip, I mean, it's just a grip. Um, I don't see why you would need a super expensive one. Um, it, it does its job, you know. Um, it folds up, it's collapsible, um, the sight too as well, um, it does its job, it, it works really well, um, and I can't complain about them. So um, anyways, before I get into some more, I just want to give you some specs on this thing because it's pretty awesome. Um, Umrex brought a really cool gun to the table this time, um, and I love that they've covered this thing with Picatinny Rail, so it gives you a lot of options. I've seen a lot of cool different versions of this, how, of how people accessorized it online or accessorized their own. Um, but anyways, guys, so this has a 30-shot. Uh, it's an... Um, the magazine is uh, inside the gun. This is not actually the magazine. This is where the CO2 is housed, where the magazine would be. Um, this is actually an internal magazine. So you just pull the spring back, um, push it down to lock it. And then the foresight right here, the front sight, if you push it forward, is actually a BB reservoir. So this thing can hold up to... 300 steel BBs, which is kind of crazy. Um, I usually just tend to stick in 30 or try to get at least 30 in because I don't like the rattling sound when you're moving it. Um, sorry, that was the spring. Just I accidentally pushed it and it just went whoop. But um, yeah, you can do that though. You can fill this thing up. Um, uh, it has it takes two, two CO2 cartridges and the magazine. Uh, this is the only CO2 gun that I have like this. Um, where it has a two-stage uh, dropout. So you hit the mag release right here, um, and you have to pull this out. It doesn't just fall on its own. So you hit the mag release and pull. And what happens is it hits a second stop so that the magazine doesn't just come out. And then on the back of the grip right here, you have another button you press in, and that will release the magazine all the way. Um, as you can see, it takes two 12-gram CO2 cartridges. Um, what's cool about this gun too is right here on the magazine, um, if you pull off the front cover, it comes with its own little allen key so that you can screw up the nuts. Um, 
and it has a little hidden compartment so you don't have to go digging around for tools or anything um, and then it just pops right back in um, it's only a one stage to pop it back in um, and that's it <clears throat> um, then you cock it like this um, right here you have your safety so obviously if you don't see any red drone safe when you pull it down now you're you can fire this um, you have your your fire selector here so you have semi-automatic so a single round or you have six shot bursts um, and then you can just pull the trigger I'm gonna put it on safety for now um, let me see uh, let me give you some more specs on this so as I said um, it it's a single or six shot burst um, obviously it shoots 0.177 caliber steel BBs uh, it has a max FPS of 430 feet per second. Um, it has plenty of Picatinny rail, as I said, and it has a two-part magazine system. Um, according to uh, Amazon.com, it weighs 3.52 pounds, so it has some weight to it. Um, clearly, there's a lot of metal inside of this, but the entire frame is a polymer. Um, but if you look like as I said showed you before like inside of it there's plenty of metal um I would definitely get um when I bought mine this spring as you can hear when you pull it forward it sounds all creaky like that so I would definitely keep that oiled up that just doesn't sound good but I mean I have never had an issue with it it just doesn't sound good and then I know you can't see it on camera, but the spring doesn't coil down correctly. It kind of bends a little bit um, as you're pulling it down. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, I've shot this gun now plenty of times, and I've never had an issue with it. One thing I will say about it, though, is on six-shot bursts, even though there's two CO2 cartridges, it just eats right through those CO2 cartridges. So... I mean, I rarely use six shot bursts, but um, on semi-automatic, you're good to go, man. This thing will go for a while. Um, so those are all the specs on it. Um, I, again, like I said, I've used this a bunch of times. I've never had an issue with it. It's super fun to play with. Um, even the six shot burst is cool. It's just very fast and it eats through the CO2. That's the only thing. Um, other than that, I have no issue with it. Um, I don't believe this is an actual replica of anything. I may be wrong. If I am wrong, comment below. But I'm pretty sure this is just a hybrid gun um, that Umarex put out. Um, as you can see on the other side, I've never found anything anywhere saying that it was a replica of anything. But here it just has your standard warning, the serial number, and the caliber. Um, and that's about it for that side. Here you just have your internal magazine, your fire selector, your safety, um, and then you cock it like that, as I said. Um, and then you can pull the trigger. Um, and that's really it, guys. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, you load up your BBs. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how to load CO2 and BBs in this for you. So. I think right now what I'm gonna do is just load the CO2 first um, and get that in there. Um, actually, me, I'll, I'm gonna load the BBs first. So what I'll do is I'll load the BBs. So let me put this down. Um, I'm not gonna fill it up. I'm just gonna try to get it at least or close to 30. Um, so I have right here a brand new bottle of Swiss Arms high density steel BBs. Um, so I'm just gonna attempt to get around 30 in my hand. If I could open this. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys could tell if you've been keeping up with my channel, but where I shot myself accidentally is healing a lot. As you can see, it's looking a lot better. Um, but uh, let me just try to get some BBs in there. I'm just going to dump those in there. That should fill the mag. I'm pretty sure that's about 30. Maybe a little less. I'm not sure. Um, so as you see, just pour them into the reservoir like that. Um, now to get them in the magazine inside here if you lean the gun forward There's a hole obviously right here that leads to the magazine. So you pull the spring forward Lock it in the place and then as you shake it you can see the BBs loading into the magazine um, Let me see if I could show you better. Here, let me just load some 
I'm not gonna be able to get it all on camera, but as you can see, they're loading. They're just falling out of the reservoir, so you just keep taking it until it's full. You'll know when it's full because it'll just stop eventually, you know? I don't know if I got 30 entirely. Might be a little short. Yeah, I think a little short, but that's not bad. Um, as you can see, I got 20 something. Um, so once you get it full, basically, um, you just lift this little tab up. Try not to let them slam like I did before, cause that's pretty bad for them. Like this is plastic, this could break, you know? So um, just lift it up and then guide it down just to lock the BBs into place. Um, Again, always make sure you're on safety, just to practice safety, you know, um, before you load your CO2 in this, um, because, as I said, this thing has a max muzzle velocity of 430 feet per second. Um, if you watch my video on, or one of my vlogs, where I got the procedure done taking the BB out of his hand, that was only 400 feet per second, and it did quite extensive damage to my finger for a while, um, so I could not imagine being shot by accident with this. So just be very careful. Um, so now that we have the BBs loaded, um, you take two 12 gram CO2 cartridges. I have two from EMG Arms here. Um, and as I always emphasize, don't mean to be annoying or sound like a broken record, get yourself some Pell gun oil. This is a lifesaver if you're gonna be using CO2 guns or collecting them. Um, this will keep the seals around the CO2 cartridges from drying out and cracking and causing CO2 leaks, which are not fixable. You'll have to buy the gun basically all over again. So, anyways, now that you have your CO2 cartridges, your Pell gun oil, um, you press the mag release. As I said, you pull it down partially, then you hit that back button, pull it out the rest of the way. Put the gun down, you just flip off this front cover, um, take out the little key. I believe mine are already screwed down all the way, yeah, but um, if they're not, you just screw it down all the way. These CO2 cartridges go uh, bottom first, like that. So you gotta put them in bottom first. Um, this one, I don't know why this one always gives me a little bit of a problem, like it, it never wants to go in. Well, that's because I didn't have it unscrewed all the way. Okay, never mind. Um, but as you can see, they go in bottom first. Um, so, <clears throat> what you do is you just take your pellet gun oil. Um, let me just unscrew this and put this aside. And you just apply one drop simply to each capsule like that, just one small drop, load that in, um, take your CO2 piercing allen key, pierce this piercing screw, which you can see right here, and then this is the piercing knob which pushes the uh, CO2 cartridge up into the piercing, into the piercing screw, or the, the piercer, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but that's it. You could barely hear any gas leak. Um, this thing is really cool um, when it comes to gas. Um, as you turn it when you're loading the CO2 cartridges in, you could barely hear any gas escape, which is awesome. Um, and again, for the other one, you just do the same thing. Just apply one drop of Pell gun oil. Um, and just take the other side, load that in. And then just repeat the process, take your little allen key, put it in a nut, screw it up, pierce the CO2 cartridge. Listen to this guys, you could barely hear any gas escape. It's like, ksh, barely nothing. It's awesome. Um, you don't have to over tighten it, you never want to over tighten on the CO2 cartridges because you could break them that way. Um, once you're done, take your, your key and then you just put it back in here. Now, by the way, guys, um, when I got mine, um, this is a spare key, actually. Um, when you get it uh, where the CO2 cartridges is, they actually, in the box, the packaging, the second key is actually just inside here, so you might hear some rattling when you take it out of the package. Um, don't be scared. Nothing's broken. That's just the key inside the uh, magazine for you. Um, now once you have your CO2 cartridges pierced, as I said, you just put your key back, slap that cover back on, 
make sure you're on safety as I said um, if you can see the red you're not on safety so make sure you don't see the red and then you just simply load your magazine in uh, when you're ready to fire you just cock it um, now that it's cocked if I take this off safety I can fire it which I'm not going to do right at the moment um, and then as I said you have your choice between six shot burst and single shot burst um, again I said it before I know times are tight a um, hundred dollars though is not so bad if I was you guys um, MrxUSA.com is awesome, but they're selling it for a hundred dollars more. Um, so if you're quick and you want to get this thing on Amazon, it's available for ninety nine ninety nine. So it's cheaper. Um, or you can go on Pyramid Air. I'm not sure of the price. I'll look it up for you guys and post it in the video. Um, but as for my experience with this thing, I've never had an issue with this thing so far. It's awesome. Um, I do have to get this sight sighted in though because it's blocking the uh, built-in sights. They're not iron sights. They're actually plastic, as I said. But um, I can't like I don't feel safe shooting with this right now that I added this uh, sight because I have to get this sighted in. Otherwise, I don't really know what I'm shooting at because I can't see these sights since this is blocking it. So um, I'm gonna sight this in and then I'm gonna do some accuracy testing. I'm gonna do some penetration testing. And then at the end, I'll give you some thoughts um, as usual. And I have to say, guys, again, I have said it before. Um, as as I said before, you know, if, if I buy a CO2 gun and I think it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. You know, I, I will not lie to you. Um, but I can't find, once again, a reason to not buy this. I would have to give it a two thumbs up. It's just a really awesome gun. It just looks awesome. Um feels awesome um and it's just fun you know um just keep in mind that uh like i said the six shot burst does eat through co2 so um i mean it's fine on six shot burst you still get a good amount of bbs out of it um but single fire obviously will last you a lot longer um but other than that, guys, yeah, that's the Umarex Steel Storm. This thing is awesome. I would say definitely go pick this up if you can. Um, let me know how you like this video. Um, if you like my videos, give me a like, subscribe. Um, you guys are all awesome. My subscriber count is rising. My views are rising, and I appreciate you all. Um, to my new subscribers, definitely comment, hit me up, let me know who you are, you know, we can spark a conversation or something, I'm totally down with that, um, I love talking to you guys, and that's just the coolest experience about YouTube for me, it's like meeting new people, and the people that I have spoken to so far have all been awesome, so, you guys definitely rock, um, keep it up, um, and I'll just keep putting out content the best I can for you guys, so, but I do want to hear from you guys. I want your opinions too. I want to, I want to know what you want to see. So again, always give me opinions on what I should review next. Um, if there's a gun you specifically want to see, even if I don't have it, I'll attempt to buy it so that I can review it for you. So just definitely comment below. Let me know what's going on. Um, other than that, guys, the Umarex Steel Storm, man, this thing is a beast and it's awesome. Like that's all I can say about it. It's just awesome. Um, I could do better with the site. I'm definitely gonna upgrade that. Um, I might move this permanently. Just keep this down. Move this uh, foregrip back and put a little laser flashlight or something. Cause that's a lot of Picatinny rail just to waste for a foldable stock like. I could just keep it out like that, you know? Um, you could definitely do this thing up a lot cooler. Um, I even saw online, I gotta figure out how, if anybody knows how to add a buttstock to this, that'd be awesome. I saw someone had a foldable buttstock attached to this, and I don't know how they did that, but I would love to know. So if you know, comment below. Um, as usual, you can reach me at co2reviews914 at gmail.com. Or if you just go in the banner of my YouTube channel, there's my uh, Facebook link. You can just hit me up on Facebook or however you want. Just uh, comment. I'll always respond to your comments. Um, it usually doesn't take me that long. I check my page multiple times a day to make sure nobody commented and I didn't reply. So 
I like to reply to you guys. So um, definitely comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you think about the Umarex Steel Storm. And um, by the way, if you guys have the Umarex Steel Storm and you have it accessorized and decked out, um, send me some pics and I'll, I'll put them up in a a video or something you know I'll feature them because I'm interested in how you guys um, accessorize your steel storm you know uh, if you have any tips for me um, I'm definitely open for them but other than that guys um so like I said I'm gonna do some accuracy testing some penetration testing and I'll see you at the end of the review peace Alrighty guys, so um, I have 30 rounds loaded up into this thing. Um, I'm going to do 15 on semi-auto and then I'll do 15 on the 6 shot burst and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. So uh, let me just take this, make sure it's on semi-auto, which it is, and uh, here we go. Let's see, let me just get a good shot for you guys. Alright, so that was 15 on semi-auto, so now I'm going to switch it to, sorry if that's hard to see, but 6 shot bursts and empty the rest of them. Let's get a little closer for you guys. Alright guys, <laughs> that's it. Uh, the card actually fell out of the BB trap, so... Uh, the last couple shots bounced out, so uh, let me just clean those up and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so this is going to be the accuracy testing portion of this video. So again, I have 30 rounds uh, loaded up into the Umarek Steel Storm. I'm going to back up about 10 feet and see what, kind, what I can do. Alright, let's see. Alright guys, let me just take it off safety. Put it on semi-auto. Let me just let a few. Let me get into a good position here. I am not a fan of these sights on this thing. Guys, I'm on empty. Put the safety on. See what I did see? I had the sights lined up perfectly with the circle, but as you saw, the first few shots where I had it lined up perfectly with the circle, um, they ended up down here. So what I did was I aimed higher, and they just started going all over the place. Um, I am not a fan of the sights on Numerex Steel Storm. Um, by the way, I didn't mention it, um, I took the sight that I had on it off and put it on my H&K um, MP5 because I just thought it was a better fit. I want to get a better sight or maybe a scope for the Umarex Steel Storm. But um, yeah, the sights, uh, I wouldn't rely on those too much. So you're probably better off definitely getting a sight or a scope or something for the Umarex Steel Storm. You're going to need like a laser or something. Um, but anyways guys, uh, once again, you guys be the judge, tell me what you think. I decided to just let those last few go on a six shot burst just to see what happens. And as you can see, it just tore up this spot right here. Um, after uh, I aimed upwards, I just kind of gave up on trying to aim because they were just going wherever they wanted it seemed anyway. So um, 
I knew I was going to hit the card, but like, you know, I couldn't really control it with those sights. Um, but anyways, guys, so I'm going to move on to some penetration testing and uh, leave me in uh, some comments below. Let me know what you think. Okay, guys, so <laughs> as you see here, um, I have the Dell laptop again. I thought this would be a good target for the Umarex Steelstorm. Um, this thing is looking crazy right now <laughs> with all those BBs lodged in it. Um, I know maybe on camera it doesn't look lodged, and I don't know why. Even the copper ones, these two are copper. They look silver on camera, but they're not. Uh, these are silver. Um, but these all up here are copper. That one's silver, that one's silver. But um, anyways, so I got another 30 shots, and I'm just going to unleash hell on this laptop and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's it guys, that was all 30, I felt like there was more, I guess I just unleashed all 30, I should have did some 6 shot bursts, um, but as you can see, most of them got lodged, um, I'll have to check the footage again as to why a few of those bounced off, I think they might have just hit other BBs or maybe this back uh, white wall, um, but um, we'll see, um, but that was kind of dope actually, most of them got lodged in there, um, and I wasn't even using the sights, honestly. Once I saw the position, like, the, the position that my hands were in, once I saw where the BB went, I kind of just went off where my hands were. Um, so that was kind of cool, actually. Uh, but you guys tell me what you think in the comments, and uh, I'll move on to the next thing now. But, so as you can see, it definitely, they all definitely lodged in. So at 430 feet per second, it did some good damage to this laptop. Alright guys, so that was the uh, Umarex Steel Storm destroying this laptop a little more, and this is the aftermath. Um, as you saw, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, most of the BBs, all of them, got just jammed right in the screen. I was expecting more to bounce off, um, but they were sticking to that screen like flies on flypaper. Um, so as you can see, all we did was basically just pepper it some more. So now it just looks more crazy. Um, the keyboard is ridiculously dusty. Um, that's all glass from the screen. Um, and then there's my old stickers. But uh, yeah, so I, I have the feeling nothing is going to make it past this barrier back here. Um, 
it just seems like the back the back of the keep of the laptop um but one day i might stand it the other way and start shooting uh this part see what happens see if anything can penetrate this part of the keyboard um in one of my older videos i did accidentally hit the mouse pad and it just ricocheted off and i believe it was that shot that where it hit it ricocheted off the mouse pad and then hit right there um so yeah guys so that's it for the Dell laptop and let me move on to the next thing now okay guys so I know this is probably a little overkill um but I have the GS5 set up um if you watched my last review uh I think it was the Umarex MMP40 did this to it um so I'm curious what the steel storm is gonna do uh I figured we just finish this thing off uh, once and for all, I put the pillow behind it in hopes that maybe the, it'll stand better with the pillow. Um, so I have another 30 rounds loaded up, and I'm just going to go semi-auto. I hope I hit it. I'm going to move up a little closer because I don't like the sights on this thing, like I said. But um, let's see what we could do. All right. Let me just take the safety off. Alright guys, here we go. Oh wow, still didn't stand. And all these BBs just keep flying back at me. But, let's see what we could do. I'm going to try a couple more. Get off from a closer range. That's it. Uh, wow, I gotta put that in slow mo because I just literally made two holes. Like the, this hole was partially already there, and it is totally messed up now. Uh, look at that! Damn, that's crazy. And I was shooting at a downward angle too with that one, so that it wouldn't tip over. Look, even the screen is coming off. Uh, but let me show you better in an aftermath video. That was crazy. Let me just clean up this mess. Alright guys, so that was shooting the hell out of this GS5. Um, it's kind of cool now, I was just pointing out to my girlfriend. You can actually see like all the layers now that are that go into your phone screen. It's kind of amazing actually. Um, I think there's one, two, three, four, it looks like five layers in total. Um, but as you saw, man, once I started chipping chipping away at that uh, hole that we had previously made, it just tore the rest of it up. And I think this was a new one, man. It just tore, started tearing this spot up, um, which was kind of awesome. Um, that was kind of cool. I can't wait to see that in slow mo. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, uh, that's the GS5. I may just keep this and just use it again, uh, just for kicks. But um. This thing is definitely hit. It's seen its days. You have served me well, GS5. But thank you guys. Uh, so, anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move on to the next thing now, and I'll see you in the next segment. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got a pretty thick uh, wine bottle here. So I have another magazine loaded, and I'm gonna back up about eight feet and just see what happens. I'm gonna use semi-auto first. 
and just see how badly this breaks, whether it shatters or what. Let me just put my glove on, back up. Alrighty guys, let me take off the safety. And here we go. surprised to see this bottle still standing but as you can see it is in not in good condition uh, actually let me put my glove back on before I touch this um, here's the top of it it's like a good melee weapon <laughs> um, oh I guess it was the stickers on both sides that kept the glass together but uh yeah, that, that semi-auto I see, I saw was just like making little hose, so I was like, screw it, let me just put it on six shot first, but um, now I got a mess to clean up, um, damn, but um, anyways, that was awesome, um, I'll put that in slow-mo for sure, so I definitely want to see that, uh, the bottom of it is just full of glass, oh, man, um, so, alright guys, I'll be right back with you. That was awesome. Okay guys, so as you can see, this time I decided to just put up two tin cans. I got another good fresh tin can here. This one seems a little bit thinner than this one, um, so I put them side by side. I have a fresh magazine loaded up. I'm going to step back about eight feet. Uh, sorry if you hear my dog lady, she's squeaking her squeaky toy in the background, but um... Alright, let me back up a little bit and see what happens. See if we could get something through this can or at least in it. Wait, can you stop with the squeaky toy for a sec? Alright guys, safety's off. Let me put the first shot into the big can here. Oh, it did go right in. So they are not going into the little can, but I'm going to unleash onto the bigger can. Alright guys, so that was the last shot. Um, as you can see, it tore the hell out of this can. Um, as I said, I think it was just a bit thinner not even that much um this one it definitely blew holes in it but nothing got caught in it uh, this one is full of bbs um these all just ricocheted back at me so i have another mess to clean up um but it's worth it um that was a cool experiment so uh this can which is more like a picture like a spaghettios can or like a soup can that's how thick this one is this is like a coffee can um, so it's, it was a little bit thinner, um, but yeah, I still did some significant damage, um, oh wow, looks like one maybe actually made it actually through the back too, um, and as you can see, there's all these pock marks too, so some were on their way out, uh, it's quite interesting, so, um, anyways guys, yeah, if we can, I'll show you a little better in the aftermath. Alright guys, so as you can see, this is the bigger tin can. As I said, it was a bit thinner. There are 18 shots in there, so 20 or 30 minus 18, so that's 12 shots that didn't make it. Um, 
into this can are uh, some, well, most of them, I think pretty much all of them actually ricocheted off the other can. Uh, none of them went inside at least. Um, and this can, as you can see, one even made it out the back. You can see the hole clearly right there, the path it traveled. Um, and you can see all the pock marks from the other ones that were about to make it through. Um, but yeah, it tore this thing up. Um, so, uh, a can this size, like I said, it's about, I, th I think this was a coffee can. Um, th it'll, they'll definitely penetrate and possibly even go right through. And I was about 10 feet away, but like a soup can, something a little bit thicker, uh, they have a little bit more trouble penetrating. But um, something like this, you're good to go. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next segment. And that was pretty awesome, right? Look at all those BBs. Okay guys, so I figured for the hell of it, um, I'm just going to use this notebook again. Um, if you look at my last video on the Umarex Smith & Wesson M&P 40, um, I used this notebook for some penetration testing, but not through this front layer, which is like, a, I don't know what material that is, um, but it's thicker than paper. Um, so I'm going to put this on six shot bursts and just go at this notebook and see what happens. So, uh, let me just back up a little. I got a full magazine again here. Alright, safety off. Let's see what we could do. Alright guys, that is all 30 shots into this notebook um man I, I wish i had the camera at a better angle um but they all went um hold on they're all just like falling out of the notebook but none made it through the notebook fully but let's see what we did here um so <laughs> i shot this again previously so remember that um but you could see by the bbs oh boy hold on let me just catch this one uh, that it tore this notebook up pretty bad. Just look at all the BBs like stuck everywhere. I hate that these things roll so much. They're like such a pain when they fall. Um, oh man, look, there's even more. There's two there, one there, one there, there's one in there. So it went quite deep. Um, honest, there's one there. There, still it. Alright, so I'm gonna say it ended probably about here. So I made it through about this much of the notebook right here, which is not a lot, I guess. But um, I was about five feet away when I did that. Um, but still, it did quite some damage. Um, at least they all went through, none of them. Uh, bounce back at me. So that's the notebook. Um, I'm not going to do an aftermath of this because I don't want to make such a mess um, in case BBs are still lodged in this. But um, I'm pretty sure you can see well enough what it did. Oh, there's, see, there's more right there. It's one, two. Alright guys, so let me clean this up and I'll see you at the end. Okay guys, so that was the Umarek Steel Storm. Uh, this thing was badass uh, in the penetration testing. Uh, you guys leave in the comments, tell me what you think. Um, but for a hundred bucks, I say you can't beat this, man. I mean, for the size and everything, it comes with plenty of Picatinny rail. Um, it's basically like a Frankenstein gun. I mean, you could do so much with this. Um, I might change this grip out eventually, get like a flashlight grip combo too. Um, so, I don't know guys, you guys tell me what you think, but I think for 99 to 110 bucks, um, that's a pretty good deal for this thing. Um, I hope that you guys got a good sense of what it's like through my video, um, if you're contemplating buying it. Um, I will leave in my descriptions. By the way, guys, always check out my descriptions because I leave a ton of information for you guys, like where to find the gun, BBs, CO2, everything um, that you'll need for whatever gun I'm reviewing. Um, but um, other than that, uh, I can't say much about this thing. I've never had an issue with it. It's fun to shoot every time. Um, it's pretty loud. Um, 
but in a good way. Um, there's not much kick, which is also cool. So that helps at least a little bit with aiming. Um, but I would say definitely get some sort of guidance system or aiming guidance system, like a sight or a scope or at least like a, a laser or something for this. Um, I mean, that, it's just my own personal opinion, but I'm not the biggest fan of these uh, sights. I'm not going to attempt to line them up with the camera because I think it'll hit the camera. But um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, that was the Umarek Steel Storm. This is Paul for Replica Gun Reviews. You guys rock. I just wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing. You guys are awesome. I love you all. Um, it was cool talking with some of the people who have commented recently. So definitely keep commenting. Um, definitely keep watching out for my channel. I have a ton of videos coming up. And other than that, stay awesome and stay cool. Peace.